I'll pass this way but once. Any good that I can do, let me know it now. Let me not neglect it, nor defer it, for I shall not pass this way again. What is more suited in these modern times for our link with nostalgia than the tradition-rich grandfather clock? For all ages, for each elusive taste and at every income level, millions of Americans see the grandfather clock as a contemporary link to yesterday. But why has the grandfather clock become such a symbol? What is it, really? Fine furniture, certainly, but much more it has reality. It lives and speaks in cathedral tones. It is the heart and soul within the fine cabinet that makes a grandfather clock symbolic. To produce such living tradition requires men steeped in that tradition. The stubborn perfectionists. To engineer such perfection demands a vanishing breed of men. Such a man is Dick Hershady. I spent almost all of my life in the clock business. My father spent all of his life in the clock business. And my grandfather founded the Hershady Hall Clock Company. I would like to show you something about how we make clocks. The dial is made of fine, heavy brass, with delicate filigree cut by hand, one at a time. engraved by hand, one at a time. Are there shortcuts? It could be done faster, cheaper, by machines. Faster and cheaper by electrolysis. But there is no substitute for the human hand. There are no shortcuts at Hershey. You're watching 14 karat gold plating. Even if you can't see the fine difference in hand engraving, everyone can see the difference between gold and brass. Even the tiny screws are silver plated to match the silver portion of the dial. There are no shortcuts at Hershey. Listen carefully. Now, compare this sound. The first chimes were played by soft horsehide leather. It gives you a mellower sound. Hershey chime hammers have horsehide or goatskin leather. Pigskin, it just is not good enough for a Hershey chime. My father developed a resonant brass alloy for these tubular belt chimes over 40 years ago. The exact composition is a trade secret. And a recent Hershey breakthrough in chime suspension has increased chime vibration by 24 seconds. At Hershey, you see, we deal in seconds. This cable-wound movement 
is a classic engineering design. It dates back for centuries. Today, only Hershady still takes the trouble to make this movement. All Hershady gears are made by Hershady. This one is one sixteen hundredth of an inch out of line. It will not do. Now, it is within one ten thousandth of an inch. It is acceptable. There are no shortcuts at Hershady. Assembly time is the first moment of truth for a Hershady tubular bell movement. Each component exactly as each one before it for three quarters of a century. When you make the same movement for nearly 75 years, you get very good at it. And to prove it, you test it. And you test it. And you keep on testing it day after day in the factory testing room and in the cabinet. Every Hershady movement is installed and tested in its own cabinet before shipping. For accuracy, for tone, for beat and timing of the chime melody, exactly as you would a fine music box. For that, in a sense, is what a Hershady tubular bell chime mechanism is. All Hershady tubular bell clocks have a moving moon dial to indicate the phase of the moon. To set the moon dial is quite simple. First, you center the moon exactly under 15 by turning the dial gently clockwise. Consult the almanac for the date of the last full moon. If it was 22 days ago, you would turn the dial 44 clicks, just twice as many clicks as days. Originally, it showed the farmer when to plow and plant and when to harvest. Today, it is purely ornamental. Another of those nostalgic links with tradition that we Americans love so. Many clock owners are fascinated with regulating the pendulum arc. We know that many achieve accuracy within one minute per month. This is the first Hershady tubular bell movement ever manufactured. It is nearly three quarters of a century old. Standing in the hall of Mr. Hershady's home today, it is quite as accurate as ever. Another of our American traditions is the winding of the grandfather clock on Sunday morning. Ownership of a Hershady tubular bell grandfather clock is a source of tremendous pride. The generations of Hershadys who have dedicated their lives to making such a fine instrument have taken unusual pride in their skills. And the men who display and demonstrate Hershady to thousands of Americans each day can take this same pride that comes through a rare association with perfection. I'll pass this way but once. Any good that I can do, let me know it now. Let me not neglect it nor defer it. this way again. Hershady, gold medal winning clocks since 1885.